Well, people have referred to this as being the fourth industrial revolution. And I think my challenge with that, and only the only, only time will tell, is that in, in every industrial revolution, yes, there has been a displacement of jobs and there's been new jobs that have been created that we haven't predicted. The reason why I think this is different this time is, is any new jobs that we might create, in theory, we'll be able to have an AI that can do those jobs because we can get now AIs to do pretty much anything that human, human beings can do. Um, and to give you kind of the two extremes of the argument here in terms of its implications, is that at the moment AI is being used, as you know, to free up tasks. And those people are not losing their jobs. They're going, going on to do more important, you know, purposeful, impactful things within their organizations. When we can get AIs to free up whole jobs, we probably will. You know, the capitalistic model to reduce costs, increase profits means that, you know, that, that will happen. And if that happens very quickly, if, if we see lots of jobs being displaced, then you know, our economies might not be able to rebalance fast enough and it could lead to social unrest. And actually, the the biggest concern is that is that when, if there's a future where no new jobs can be created because AIs can take them, then then you've got perpetual unrest. And I, you know, I think we need to lean into that problem. I think we need four-day working week or UBI and other mechanisms to sort of slow down the risk associated with that.